I've been wondering lately what transformation means. And if anyone can tell me how to cause a shift so powerful that people around the globe will own their freedom, give their gifts, live their purpose. I've been asking myself if the vision I believe in isn't far too daunting. Because look at all that's happened in this chaotic world. And if I drop my standards, at least I'd have a vision that's easier to achieve. But then I remembered the bamboo tree. How five years after a seed was planted, not an inch of growth was seen. But then, in the sixth year, a tiny sprout emerged which within six weeks became a giant to the height of 15 men. Then I looked around me and saw the seeds of giants and people everywhere. And I came to believe again that the vision we created and incubated with intention and heart and all the muscle we could muster might burst forth in ways that even to us were not expected. Then I observed that a single grain of sand dropped in the right way at the right time triggered an avalanche, harnessing the energy stored in the boulders on the mountain. And I became grateful for the energy that is stored on this mountain. In entrepreneurs linked together, working together for a common purpose, I discovered that critical mass is not only defined by the amount of agents in a system, but by the connections between them. And that the number of connections rises exponentially with the number of people involved. Which means, to put it simply, we are in a conversation for non-linear growth and exponential change. I saw that living systems truly come alive and transfigure themselves when people in those systems engage in conversations that strike a chord and resonate. Like when a certain coffee shop that's now on every corner made its so-called overnight transition to critical mass, and word of mouth spread quickly and celebrities stood in line, never thinking of all the seeds that have been planted for many years in advance. And now, reflecting backward from the future, I remember the critical moments that got us where we're going, including the decision to honor our standards and stick with our vision and live life on purpose just before we caused the avalanche.